Alright, what is this? There's all kinds of little stuff. Oh, no way. I don't know, whatever it is, it's heavy. Oh! Sucks because I just spent, I think, six hundred dollars on it. Oh, yes! Did you see this? Stainless glass here, another glue. Oh, come on! No way! Look at the bed. <laughs> you see what I see? No. I thought you were walking around. Holy smoke! Come on. <laughs> How are we doing today? Robert Zaba Auctioneer, Extraordinary Second Sense Auctions. I'm here with the man, the myth. Just Dodger. Jeff. Just, just Jeff. Just Jazzy. Dodger. Jeff. He doesn't like any of your nicknames yet, but we'll find one for him. What? I had that one the other day. Was I like, like them all. You like them all? Just Jeff. But anyways, this house. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This guy made lots a lot of money. Lots of lots. He was a consultant. And... Well, unfortunately, his wife passed away, and he decided he's going to go enjoy his life, and he likes Europe. So he took one truckload of stuff, moved to Europe. Everything else, he said, hey, guys, I'm going to pay you to clean out this house. $1,850. That's right, $1,850. And we get anything we want. Anything we don't want, we can donate, throw it out, burn it. I don't know. I could throw it at Jeff. Anything. No, no thanks. What? No thanks. Man, you're lucky. <laughs> First yeah. thing I see is buried right here. It's kind of oh, these are solid. Oh, let me get one up. Really? Oh, oh that. wow. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. This person had money. Move to Portugal. Now look at this one. There's not one, but there's two. And they've been buried here for a while. I might have to take those to my house. What do you think? If put, you don't, I will. Put those on my entrance. That's in. cool. I had, I had lions once. So, lions once. The big lions. Is he lion or is he lion? They were too nice for my house. <laughs> <laughs> he put the lions at his, house, his property value double. They were nicer than. <laughs> People are stopping like. Yeah. Nice lion. <laughs> That's it. So he's he couldn't get the people stopped anymore. He's like, his wife's like, stop, get those things out of here. Yeah. Now look at this. This is a little uh, lawn jockey. Now he is missing the lantern piece, but uh, still cool piece. Oh, look at this thing. It's a greyhound. And uh, I love Greyhounds. Seeing those little helper from Simpsons Greyhound. Then we got these cool rustic. What do you think? I don't know. Let me tell you. Okay. So rocking. I think he wants to leave these with the house. We're gonna leave the chairs. The house has the chairs stay with the house. Okay. Well, you gotta tell me the stuff. How about this stump? Whoa! I thought it was connected. I guess that stays too. I think so. All right, well, just these. All right, just, you, just, I'm, just, I'm just, Jeff. Video guy. just Jeff. Just Jeff. I'm the video guy. I'm the Let's see the good, the bad, and. Uh oh. Ugly. I'm not holding this all the way. Uh oh. There's the ugly. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Wow! Hello, hello! Wow, look at this place. Look at this TV! You know what I need, Jeff? Uh, dishwasher? screen with a sound bar? Woo! Man, what is this thing? Samsung? I don't even know what this thing is so faint. I don't even know what this thing is. What is this thing? He pointed at him and said there's like five of them and I'm not sure what they are. Okay. Well, yeah. here's the remote for, I don't know what it is. Here's another remote. One's probably for the sound bar. One's for the TV. Wow. Oh, look at this. 
man, these are cool. Oh, like yeah. It's a statuary. And that's all right. So. I would say. Let's take a look at this. Look at the ceiling. Oh, look at those chandeliers. I'd this say I'd say the rustic. guy. I'd say the guy likes to horse around. <laughs> this is a rustic, <laughs> rustic place. Now everything, the good, the bad, and ugly are in here. And here's some ugly right here, Jeff. Let's take a look. He did have animals. How about that Chase Lounge? Oh, yeah. You want to take that home? It's a small hole. Hey, you could. Hey, nothing a little off. You know, I don't know. Duct tape won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> so some napkins and duct tape. That thing's good as new. Look at these lights, man. So we got these stools here. What is this? There's a package here. It's unopened package. You like the unopened stuff. I know, but I don't want to open someone's mail. Yeah, federal I, I think I think that's illegal. Okay. Is there snacks? Oh, candy. We got lunch. Pepper in the bar. Oh man, life is good. We might just have to quit now while we're ahead. He literally just left two days ago. He left two days ago. So this house hasn't been, a lot of times the houses we go to have been vacant for a year, two years, 15 years, 20 years. This one hasn't. So everything in here should be good. Look at this one. What is this? Uh, I'm assuming. The air cleaner, a, a, a heater or something? Yeah, purifier, purifier. or something. Look at all that. Yeah. You might have to clean that, Jeff. Look back here. Oh, wow. Man, there's probably light switches everywhere here. I just noticed, look how cool this light. Was that a wall sconce? It's a lot of pine. A lot of pine. Well, you have to like pine. It smells like fresh wood in this place. I mean, this house can't be that old. Oh, look at these smoke. Wow. Wow. Is that real? If that's original, that might be worth some money. He liked dirt. He packed a lot of it. And he didn't take that? He couldn't fit it all. And another 65 inch? Man. Huh. I have to figure out how am I going to get this to stand, but that's the worst of my problems. You might have to stand somewhere on there. Wow. Fireplace in the bedroom. That's pretty nice touch. Another humidifier or clean air cleaner. Another Samsung box thing. These might be Wi Fi or something. I don't know. I think so. We got this nice poster bed. What size is this, King? Looks <clears throat> like it's a pillow top. Man, there's all kinds of stuff. So, oh! <laughs> That's one of those, I think, battery backups. Oh, yeah. So, those always go for like 20, 30 bucks. So, we got to find out what we want to sell, ladies and gentlemen. We got to find out what we're going to keep for ourselves and we got to find out what we're going to throw out what we're going to sell and what we're going to take and throw at jeff oh. <laughs> at least it was a pillow why am i laughing that wasn't funny at least it was a pillow That's a old piece of wood furniture please leave clothes don't let cats in meow dude if i open this up all these cats come running up wouldn't that be Oh no! Wait! Wow! This is what I need. Look at the cactuses. How long do we have in this place? Uh, ten days, pretty much. Party! <laughs> Everybody out there, you're invited. No! Where everyone's coming to the party. I'm gonna give you the address. You have to watch the entire video. You'll find the address. No. Maybe. Get me in trouble. Come on, look at it. Maybe use on their oh. beer bottles. <laughs> beer bottles. There's a hot tub, dude. Is it on? I have, oh, oh, bummer. The hot tub goes, right? I have my trunks from the last house. The hot tub goes, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't say not to. What about the cactus? What are we going to do with these? Aren't those cool? I can't just let the cat die. I'm going to have to try to save these plants, too. Did I ever tell you my cactus story? No, Jeff. You want to hear it real quick? It's not like the mushroom story where you told me you were a fun guy. No. Okay. <laughs> guy called me. I cleaned out the house, and he called me. He had a cactus that had been with this in his family for 60 years. He remembered it as a child, uh -huh. and it was so flipping huge, he couldn't get anyone to move it. Guess what I said? What? I'll move it. So uh, we moved it. 
we moved it for him. We bought a crate and we had it like pieces tied up everywhere in foam. I even bought that spray insulation foam to try to pack it in. Moved it to a temporary spot. He called again to move it another time. I moved that cactus twice. How much charge him? It's like six hundred bucks total for two cactus moves. So if you want your cactus move, yeah. call Jeff. One eight hundred. I'll move a cactus. Yeah. Too bad with you moving them, I'll get paid about what four dollars. Maybe. 30. <laughs> I want to explain real quick because a lot of people are like, "Wow, people clean out that house for free. Why would they give you all this? What did this?" Okay, first of all, let me explain to you. Some guy that's going to answer a call, I'll clean out your house for free. You really want this person at your house? This is a five hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand dollar house. You're going to trust someone to come in there when you have hot tubs, toilets. Hot, I mean, hot water tanks, plumbing, this outdoor wood burner. There's things, ladies and gentlemen. I've been in business for 15 years. Jeff's been in business for 10, years? 12. 12 years. So we've been in business for a long time. We have great reputation. People know you call us up, what we say is going to happen. And that's why people pay us the money. And we're not charging an ex extra amount of stuff. There's. <laughs> <laughs> we are charging not exorbitant fees. We're charging, you know, $1,850 to clean out everything in here. It's and We're going to have to take a lot of runs. We're going to have to take stuff to the dump. And, yeah, we get some great stuff for our house. And we get to sell some stuff. But it's a lot of work. This house is huge. So much more to look through. So I see right here. He put some books aside. Obviously, he thought about maybe taking them. Ran out of space. I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, there are definitely some old books in here. A lot of them look like more educational books. And a lot of times, educational books don't have tons of value. You want to look for first editions. You know, obviously, to Kill Mockingbird first edition, original dust jacket is going to be worth a lot more money than other things. Oh, wow. That's a nice little shelf. Well, I guess it didn't take much off the knickknack shelf. And another purifier, too. First thing I see is <laughs> these old binoculars. Another purifier. There's tons of those. Sport glass, it says. Chicago. This is when you're at the Derby and you want to see your horse. So we got a bunch of snow globes. Some tea. 997 at Kmart. Kmart hasn't been around for a while. Sometimes. So make sure they don't leave any money in there, you know. These people had money. Like, oh, right here. This is cash. That's an old lantern right there. And they're usually marked right here, and it's right there. It's an Aladdin model number 12. And you have to look that up. I don't see the glass piece, but he could have it somewhere over here, or it might have just broke. But the hurricane's easy to replace. Let's see, we got some blue glass down here, some pink depression glass. And this whole thing, oh my gosh. Here's some cool pieces. That's oh, cool. That's neat. Yeah, on the back it even has something, and this one's probably the same. So I've never seen that before. Those aren't bookends, are they? No. No, that's just the... Just little decorative stand-up pieces, but it's weird that they did something on the back. So yeah. True artist. You know what this is? No. Some type of stand. It's called a butter press, I believe. You take it and do a butter press, and it would have like this floral design in the butter. But I could be wrong. So, ooh, look at this you little box. Wrong. Oh, that's pretty. Numbered edition. Pretty. London. Yeah, pretty. Did you say pretty? Pretty. Like my wife. C five thirty six. That is nice. It's all metal and enameled. So a little collector teapot. What is this? There's all kinds of little stuff. Oh, no way. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's heavy. Oh! <laughs> awesome. Awesome. These are old. They're moving around so fast. I'm trying to turn it. Now, this is a Leslie Matchbox. Made in England. These are the originals, and the condition of this is unbelievable. 60s? Oh, yeah, 60s. These are all 60s. Look at this bug right here. This is a dinky toy. It's missing one of the rubber wheels, but that's replaceable. Now, this is the area you could find a Hot Wheels red line in here. 
And some reason the red lines are the most valuable, most desirable. But there's some matchbox. That sounds pretty cool. And what is this? Is this like a this is a, a Volkswagen bus? Woo! Look at how awesome that is. The mayor. Oh look at it's a camper. The camper. Matchbox toy. Ooh, that's an oldie. What does it say in there? A dinky toy. So I might keep something like that. I'm going to keep money. Now, like, uh, my son collects uh, Hot Wheels. So Hot Wheels and stuff I'll collect. But, man, that is a good find. And that's the kind of things, you know, this guy can only take so much stuff. He moved to Portugal. You guys don't understand how much money it costs. And this guy has a lot of money. But, you know, just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean you want to spend it all on moving. I think I just saw a piece of jewelry. What is this? Huh. Just a little tiny thing, but that's, that's, that's a little weird. weird. Any jewelry things remembered here? What's in here? Just a little thing on there, name. Little name plate. So we got some cool stuff over here. Hoping to find some more toys. There's another little box. In. These little jewelry boxes are like little kids' jewelry boxes. That looks like just a silver. It could be a silver pendant right there. And that's what it looks like with the stone, but that's probably sterling silver around there. And who knows? I mean, look at these little crazy cat teapots. What else do we got down here, Jeff? I don't know. <clears throat> Pieces like this. This is silver plated, but if it was sterling, it would be nice. Copper, a necklace right here. These look like all homemade pieces. I just I just hope we don't find any more toys, because you seem to slow down when you find toys. I love toys. I love toys. I just want to know what's inside this box down here. Taki, fine china set. So that's pretty nice. Oh wow, look at this cabinet, Jeff. Talk about nice. I think they collected teapots. Wow, wow. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here call. is my camel. Someone called me and they threw my little teapots on, but that's okay. But we don't got just teapots, we got bee pots. Did you ever see a bee pot? No. Did you, you ask it? Who you asked? You! Uh, who else may ask it? Those people Is out that there. like a honey pot? It's a bee pot, man. I don't know. But look at all these. This is kind of cool. So all this stuff's got to have some kind of value. We got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. But there's a lot of teapots. David Copperfield back here. Oh, they want to have something in it. Oh. I thought that was the head mustache. Just probably about the teapot. Charles Dickens. Did you ever read David Copperfield? Isn't he the magician? Yeah, he had some good magic shows. No. You gotta be careful because you know, I'm not sure. Now some of these could be fifty, sixty, hundred dollar teapots. It might be five, ten dollars. Didn't didn't Shane just say you had a, a teacup oh, go for a hundred dollars? We just sold the teacup for one hundred. Nortaki, China. How do you, oh, head comes off. Okay, I was like, how do you get that hot water in there? This is for serving for one. Could you imagine if someone brought you out this for your tea? Okay. That's for tea shooters. My spot of tea. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. A whole teapot collection left to us. Then we got little, these are little egg cups here. <clears throat> that's what they're called. You put an egg in there. And then you got glass here. All kind of miscellaneous stuff. Hello. Oh, man. Look at these high ceilings. They are gigantic. The heat this place. Oh, what's in here? One, we got bowl. We're at Bonanza. Nice. Are these drapes, like curtains, balances. I don't know. That's pretty nice. The moving company probably charged them for the bubble wrap and then left it. 
We don't need it. We'll just charge the next one. Ooh, we got stuff in here, Jeff. This looks like the master, maybe? I don't know. I would say this is not the master. No? The master had the fireplace. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the hot tub, maybe? <laughs> no, the hot tub, yeah. in it, Jeff. Look at this. The, this is the stepchild. Another television. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Wi-Fi 6 router. That looks like a serious router right there. It sucks because I just spent, I think, $600 on it. Oh, yes! Did you see this? Look at A Vox amp. Where's the guitar, man? It's empty. Geek Squad. Another battery backup, probably. Fan. These are my dollhouse furniture sets. It was given to me when I was young. So we got, look at this, look at this. Cast metal dollhouse furniture. Rocking chair. Those are kind of neat. Yeah, this is some old stuff, 1950s probably. Maybe even earlier. So it looks like we got a whole bunch in here. Oh, I was gonna say these are dials, no. But QB dials and stuff, so that's cool. Unexpected finds. Like I said, I mean, we were here, the guy was packing up stuff, couldn't really look at anything and look up Bob! <laughs> so, dial house furniture, what is this thing? I like hey, it. Ring the bell. I might have to keep this man. Old globe. You can always look at the globe and say, okay, let's see what countries are still on here. Well, first of all, we got Russia. Maybe he's not an asshole. Let's see over here. One thing you can look at. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Romania. No, no, no. Hungary. Nope, there's no, uh, no, no Hungary. I'm not seeing. Bulgaria. Ooh. Yeah, this is a newer globe. Newer than I thought. Now here's big money, Jeff. You want to see big money? Yes. The frog. 1996 SADAC. And usually these lamps I get 50 to 100 bucks for. I've had frogs, turtles. Well, I don't know if I had a frog. I've had turtles and a bunch of turtles, really. So that, that's going to auction? That's going to auction. Guess so. Pablo Picasso. Look at that. We got our own Picasso now. Nice. Some nice furniture here. I know this guy was a big in the art, so we gotta look. And some of this stuff could be big money or little money, huh, Jeff? Yes. <laughs> I'm not taking this out right now. We got cookie jar, glasses. Whoa! Oh, oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, wow. You know, I was looking for something for my upstairs attic. This might be, this might be it. <laughs> you need to, you need to bring that with you and study your, your, uh, what's that called? Loop? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. That's a big loop. All these dressers are emptied out. We got pots, pans, copper. Look at this nice piece of stainless glass there. Another glue. Oh, come on. No way. Look at the bed. You see what I see? No. I thought you were walking around. Holy smoke. Come on. Oh. All empty? They already emptied us out, Chuck. Oh, man. Nothing. I thought we were gonna get lucky. Let's see more over there. Everything's gonna be empty box of what they do with all the jewelry. Man. Wowzers. Oh, I see another box over here. Holy smoke, this one's heavy. 
this one might be better. Ho oh, oh. ho! Hold on, Jeff. Hold on, all hope isn't lost. Look at this. It's an old little pin there. Bracelet. Another pin. There we go. All kind of costume jewelry so far. Ooh, this might be sterling silver. A lot of times these bracelets like this. Man. Whew. So yes, they left jewelry. This was a guy, his wife ended up passing away and he don't want this stuff. They moved in here. This was supposed to be their dream home. Came from Texas. This is a dream home for sure. And she passed away oh. in 2000. What did he say? Whoa. 18. I've heard stories about these. Relaxation balls, they say. Shelton. It's very nice. They a lot of casting jewelry. So they might took all the good stuff. Or maybe it's in one of these boxes. Maybe it's somewhere else in the house. I don't know. Some people don't, you know, get good jewelry. They only like costume jewelry. There's definitely some nice pieces in here. Gold-plated rope chain. Ooh, right here. One of these things. This is one of those pieces that a lot of people overlook. And this could be gold. Because most people would never think it's gold. Hold on a second. Little anniversary pins. See, it has a little ruby or whatever on there. So a lot of times that makes me think, oh, it's probably gold, but it might not be. This one's probably not, but it is marked something back here. You got a look. <laughs> Hold on. This thing is dusty. Chicago. I can't see. I can't see 10 karat gold there. filled. So that's 10 karat gold filled. Hmm. Pin. There's all kind of boxes in here. Ooh, that looks like it might be sterling. It's a little pendant. So we got another. Those look like those are sterling earrings. And this thing is loaded with jewelry. Little balls that went into some kind of earring set, probably, because there's two of them. Bow. Definitely looks like sterling. That is a cool piece. I don't see a mark on it. There's a little dent there. Huh. Sometimes pieces made in Mexico, India, and stuff like that, they're not marked, but that is a beautiful piece. Oh, we got some watches down here. Woo! Citizens? That's an expensive watch right there. It fits. What do you think? I think you wear it for two days, you'll break it. A beer gas, a beer gas, uh, aviator. Man. Oh, he's double wristing. I'll be blinging it up, man. I'll just get rings in all my fingers, watches on both hands. Makeup? Like what time is it? East Coast time or West Coast time? <laughs> <laughs> More watches in here. Did they leave a Rolex behind? Seiko? Oh. Yeah, that's costume. Maybe some sterling silver earrings. That's about it. So definitely some stuff to go through. Let's say we have more watches over here. Pins. And there's all kind of hair pins over here. Another watch. Another Seiko watch. And down here is just necklaces and bracelets and earrings. A lot of times earrings, you'll find gold earrings, so you gotta look. 
because those are cheaper things to buy. The bigger piece of gold, more expensive. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's a statement piece right there. Yeah, that'd go with your watch. It would go with my watch. You know if I'm coming. I think Rob's coming. <laughs> is that or the dog? I don't think you need that to know you're coming. Yep, yep. You're not making friends today. I'm just saying you're loud. Right there. Sterling silver. Nice. So, there's a lot of jewelry in here. I'm going to have to go through it all. There's definitely going to be some sterling. Possibly some gold. And then underneath here, holy smoke. I think this could be sterling. Wouldn't that be nice? So right there, that's marked EPNS. You know what that stands for? No. Not sterling! <laughs> <laughs> it's like extra plate something silver. Nickel silver or something. Silver flattened. Made in England. I'm assuming that means it's not sterling. Because <laughs> they would put sterling, not ster sterling flattened. Sheffield. That's old. Does that mean not sterling? Well, that one could be sterling. Let's see. Really? I'm not carrying that thing around with me. There's marks on it, maker marks. This says Pat 1917. See, there's like a lion. That means it's silver. But I don't think it's silver. It's silver plated. So when did they start marking stuff with silver or... Long time ago. Like, I think they passed the law in England in the 1500s or something. 1500s. 1400s. Sheffield, England. Of course, there's parts like, like Mexico and stuff. Like A lot of times, like I said, their silver's not even marked. So all this stuff looks like silver plate, but still some nice pieces. Ooh! Oh, this is probably sterling. Sterling's really light and flexible. There's a mark right there. I don't know if it's 925. There's definitely looks like three numbers that's kind of worn off. But my guess this one looks silverish to me. Now this could be the good stuff. More of these little spoon collection. Yeah, little spoons with stones on the top. Different. I haven't seen them like that. I mean, either. That's a different. And these look like long spoons. So I guess that'd be for your martini or something, or something, some drink or something, maybe. That's for your tall tea. Your tall tea. Oh, here we go. Batteries, lamps, metal frogs. Assuming somehow they light up. I've, I've had those it. before. Nice little radio right here. And we got some kind of box. I'm assuming he went, wanted to take this with him. He said it didn't make it on the... On the he ran out of room. Yep. Oh, we're going to have to open this up. Alright. Let's see what piece didn't make it on the truck. This guy has nice artwork. You're going to pull it out here? I'm pulling it out Wait. right now. No, 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 stop. Go in the big room. It's yeah. hard to see. I'm having a good time. But, but I know. It's Slow down. Slow down. Watch out. <laughs> oh, I just put my hand through it. My room is big enough. Oh. Holy smokes. Look at that. A map. What year is this bad boy? Turn it right side up. I'm trying. You got all of us, all of us tilting our heads. Yeah. Here we go. You got. You're holding it. I am. That's pretty cool. Random Manly Signature Series World Map. Where are you? Where are we? In the middle of the world. Right here in Cleveland. It's on the map. Nice. We're on the map! Nice. I'm guessing, looks like to me it's a world map. I would say it's a pretty nice piece. What is this? Ooh, candles. Mmm, smell. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. 
Hope you guys like it. It's called Malt Cider. Bunch of cans in there. Huh. Nice little. Nothing. Nice little side piece. Little cedar chest. Man, you sit on there. Get your shoes on in the morning, Jeff. All the dressers are emptied out. Hope they take all the drawers out. Make sure there's nothing underneath them. Well, I know we got upstairs and a basement. Which and we garage. want to go first. And the garage. And a shed too, right? And a shed.